and a fight we are happy to announce today. The co-headliner on UFC 199 on June 4th will be the dominator, Dominic Cruz, completing his trilogy against the California kid Uriah Faber. This guy chose me as an enemy, and I gladly accept. Dominic, if you're out there, hide that UFC belt, baby. He ain't touching the belt. He can't even reach it. I'll just have my hand like this, and he's going to be reaching. That's it. And to the winner goes a lifetime of bragging rights, something these two rivals may crave even more than the championship belt. Uriah feels like he is a better fighter than he was the second time they fought. I've been sticking around a couple extra years just to let you heal up, buddy. A rivalry comes to a close in what promises to be a spectacular showdown as Dominic Cruz tries to write a victorious end to his trilogy against Uriah Faber on June 4th at UFC 199. I, I wish that, uh, you know, every fight could go as fast as my fight with Takaya Mizugaki, <laughs> but they don't always all go that well, so I just got right back to the drawing board. I spent this last month getting my body prepared for the next fight to beat up uh, TJ Dillashaw's grandfather over there. I'm gonna smash you, brother. Believe that. With what? Oh, nothing. what? All you got is overhand with right what? and guillotine. That's what it. What the hell are it you going to do? What are you going to do? You hey, finally got a don't haircut. Don't talk to you me in a closed room. Took your sandals you're off. Look. You're a mess, man. What did you saw to do to you? What are you talking about? Wait, look at yourself. Look at you, the difference in your body. You look like a soft, pudgy, half Latino. You ever blown out your knees, buddy? No, I haven't, dude. Exactly. So I haven't because I'm wait, made for you battle. You're not. Bro, I'm going to smash you, brother. You move back the whole time. You have no striking, you get beat up all the time. No, That's what hey, you do, have, you get you, beat up. That's you what ever you do, you get beat anybody? up at a world-class level. Dominic Cruz, the current UFC bantamweight champion, has one loss on his record, and that is to the former WEC featherweight champion, Uriah Faber. That is it. How do you like the work of Uriah Faber? The two best bantamweights in the world doing I... battle here. And still, the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. His idea of beating someone up and my idea of beating someone up is very different. He sees it how he wants to see it, like always, but the fight speaks for itself. I won. The one thing that's for sure is we need to do this again. That's gonna because happen Because it's again. a bowl. June 4th is gonna be a war. I know that whatever type of cruise that steps into the cage, he's gonna be ready. There's a championship mentality that he has. There's no doubt that I have that as well. In winning the title from TJ Dillashaw, Dominic Cruz was elusive. His footwork was spectacular. His technical knowledge and his ability was so impressive. To me, I was the champion the entire time. And now he has this opportunity to finally win UFC gold. I know I can finish Dom, and I know that he can't finish me. I've got more finishes than he has total fights. But I'll be ready to go the full distance and put a whooping on him. It's really just staying sharp. I mean, right now at this point, I've already done all the work. I've already... I'm in good shape, I'm in, I'm ready to go. It's pretty much like hurry up and wait. So you're just keeping yourself sharp and staying busy, pushing 25 minutes as hard as you can with each workout. Dojo. He's four. I had him since he was like, he could fit in one hand. All I need is alarm and a hug every now and then, you know? <laughs> like you answer the door with this thing, you know? It's like, what's up man, you got an issue? What's, is there a problem? Head out to practice, we got Master Tong in the back. Friday team practice. Bear crawl, sit out, hit by. I'm in a real familiar place right now. I mean, I've done the same preparation over and over and over again. This is my 42nd fight. It feels regular. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get it, let's get a win on the Win, win, win. One, two, three, win! If Chad can catch us some fish, that may go right into the diet. So we're gonna, it's all on his, his shoulders right now. If not, I'm just eating crackers for the moment. So nice. Nice little break. Come on.
You know, the beautiful thing about fighting, the beautiful thing that I love about it is it's, it's I'm battling myself. If I beat myself, I'm beating everybody. I never think about my opponent. It doesn't matter, they're adjusting to me anyways. I'm better than they are. What's up, happy birthday. <laughs> this is Benedict, it's his birthday. Benedict! 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 About to do some mitts. Just get another sweat in, work on some timing and some little combos with Master Tong. Cruz is real elusive. I mean, he, he moves, has a lot of broken, strange movements. He has footwork where he's kind of like in a constant motion. So, just a unique guy, but I'm not going to have trouble with it. Chagu <laughs> Yunai. So Cody's about up. He's got a little crew over here watching. A bunch of the guys are in Vegas. Get it, Cody. Head movement. Thanks. Oh. Hey. I love just coming by here and checking out the cars. Gorgeous. Oh gosh. So dope. It's kind of what we'll do to your GTR. Yeah, break it apart. Yep, this break side. it apart. Yeah, this one's gutted. Yeah, this is completely naked right now. One thing after another. Yep. Boys and our toys, right? Yeah, it's a problem. We're at my gym, Lions MMA East. Uh, kids class is about to start right now, so I like to come in and watch them throw down, and they all think I'm pretty cool. Regardless of the truth, probably. I'm gonna watch TJ's fight and TJ Cruz fight if you wanna watch. You know, I don't like to dwell too much myself on watching tapes, but I like to keep things fresh. I'll watch it a couple different times. TJ is so much better when he was calm. Two, five. Hey, Every fight's a close I fight was, with Cruz, man. Same with my fight, Joseph's fight. where I wasn't sure if I'd ever be back and I had to accept that. And now I can just enjoy it knowing I am here. I've been doing this for a long time and, and I still love it and that's the, the reason why I'm doing it. Dominic hasn't fought one of the guys that I've lost to. Zero. Got a dope house for, for this week. The way I see it is 12 weeks of everything in this camp. I want to be comfortable so. Rather than stay at a hotel and be uncomfortable, have my own spot and uh, be comfortable as I want. Way better that way. Is that a secret door? Yeah. And up. Yeah, buddy. Never know what you're gonna get. Go to pack, get paid. 44 bucks. I do not wanna have any advantage for crews with the judges. My hair longer, last fight. I moved out of the way. He barely hit me, he hit me hard, whatever. My hair would shake. So I'm gonna try to get that to a minimum. We're off to LA, about to do this third fight. It's about time, man. It's been a lot of years, a lot of build up. Let's get the party started. DJ Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in every single fight. I've only lost to a handful of guys, and they've all got a story. You know, it's it's a uh, you know, it's a it's a tough tough way to to make a living the fight game, and I'm great at it. Uh, this is the best I've ever felt. It's comical the way this guy talks. It's almost like you know, he's come such an analyst. He just looks at the wins and the losses. What, I, he put he put this highlight video on his Instagram. It was the most pitiful thing I've seen in my life. What are you talking about, The man? second fight, I, I rocked you three times and I can't find your chin? Are you kidding me? You didn't rock me three times. These are all your own assessments of what happened in that fight. Watch you, the fight. Everybody at home watched the fight You're completely delusional again. about everything. Yeah, well, I fixed that's the things why I work you, on. No, you don't. You have excuses for the we'll things see, you're dude. not good at. You have nothing but excuses. And you're going to have more excuses after I beat you tomorrow. Sweet. Not going to happen. It's Saturday, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> now you're nervous. <laughs> Saturday. The times he has been knocked out, he's trying to hold his thumb up like he 
wasn't knocked out or had some excuse for why he hey, lost. I can't, I can't, I here can't we hide are from again. the reality. I was holding my thumb up. Sorry for trying to show uh, that I'm okay. Yeah, if Man, you're okay with your face dragging off the mat while Burrell's knocking you out, that's okay. Well, you TJ ran from TJ Dillashaw while I was gone for Dude, four I, years. Where I'm, were you on I'm that one? I'm a loyal person. Oh, come Guys, on. Please. Real loyal. He's on my team. Come on, like, what I, the I hell? hear you talking about loyalty <laughs> now, right? You're talking a lot of loyalty about Dillashaw now, Hey, guys right? on my team, the guy I brought up, I didn't know I was going to get yeah, stabbed now in the back. TJ Dillashaw said that he's rooting for you in this fight. If Saturday night you win that fight, is it now time for a possible matchup? I don't know if I believe that he's uh, rooting for me in this fight. You know, I, I, I don't really know <laughs> whether to believe that guy sometimes. Why wouldn't you fight him? Because I brought him up from the very inception of, of the sport until him winning the championship, and he was on my team, and I trained with him every single day. Then he left the team, no longer on my team. I have friends. I have friends that are built He hasn't been your friend for a while, and you still moved out of the what division you, what to you, die. What do you care about my life so much? Why don't, don't you care mind about your, your life. own The point I'm business. trying to make is, if you're so good, why didn't you? You're get sitting the belt? at home injured, just thinking about me. You're like a stage five clinger. I'm the you best analyst there down. is in this, and I did watch it. And whoa, you got whoa, whoa, you're, whoa, you're, whoa! You're, hey, I hey, disagree. You admitted it. I've got a second You're the best. You're gonna I'm be the, best the second best, and then you're probably gonna get knocked out by Cody No Love or or one of my other guys. Yeah, because go you don't want to fight them. I'll fight any of them. I'll fight all the guys you're scared to face. Oh, really? Yeah. You well, won't fight hey, your own teammates. I'll fight first, anybody. I am and then healthy. Talk I'm about right here. People. I'm right here, you and I'm healthy. Three guys in the last four years. So what? I beat them all, and so I beat the best barely, in the division. Barely. Pick up the belt like a man. Don't be touching the belt, you little. Oh, weirdo. I held it in front of you like a You're like a man while you couldn't reach it. You're gonna be reaching for it with your T-Rex arms. Uh, he's got an inch and a half on me, Mr. Stilts over here. You and your close eyes. Oh, you wanna walk, Jojo? <laughs> It's still nice to have nice smelling stuff in your house, you know? It's yeah. long. And I think it has to be Guys, a rivalry almost a decade in the making. Fucking punch me in the face! If you look at the last fight, 2011, between Dominic and I, I beat him up. He did not beat me up. He's gonna miss a lot. That's what's gonna happen, just like everybody else I fight. You survived I'll that you fight by moving backwards. Survive? Take a step forward, man. Come forward, okay. Eddie. Okay, all right, bring well. it. Waiting like always. No run, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. You're gonna fuck, yeah, gonna gonna fuck, fuck you yourself up, up like yeah. usual. You're crazy, man. And you, and you. You zip it, man. Put a quarter in you, little guy. Oh, what are you gonna do? Chase him down? Little bitch. UFC fans, the Octagon has returned to Los Angeles as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. You don't fight anybody in the, the best. Every uh, time you uh, fight uh, the uh, best, uh, uh, Are you not the best? I fought you twice. Is Jose you the best? He's just trash to me, and I don't like him. And basically, he chose me as an enemy. I'm not a guy that's ever backing down from a confrontation. If somebody wants to be my enemy, let's do it. The biggest difference with Dominic and I is I'm tested. What I did was I fought 14 times in four years. I've got more finishes than he has total fights. Four years with the best guy in the division out of the division, completely out. Why weren't you a champion then, Faber? Oh man, it means so much to me. I mean, I've been in this sport a long time, and this is my dude. This is the dude I can't wait to beat up, and it's gonna happen. So, one day away from punching him in his smug little face, I cannot wait. It's been a long, windy road. It's been a lot of people been with me through it. Thank you guys all. I'm ready to shut this chump up. Done. Done Good luck to you, sir. Can't wait to watch. Dominic Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. I'll jump into a boiling hot Epsom salt bath and try to cut 
this close today. I've never seen a fire cut away and watch the Food Network at the same time. <laughs> Hey, that's called Bissell. No love. Got no love. What's up, buddy? Looks like it's gonna be a, a easy cut. It's easy for me to say because I, I don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, about 13 hours. Get that done. No problem. <laughs> you can practice scales right over here. You want to find out what's going on? 135 pounds. No, we're not sure. I feel your pain. That's amazing. 134 and a half. That's a hydration scale. Made it. Not sure exactly what it is, but from the first time I met the guy to the last time we spoke, I just want to punch him. The crew's favorite chapter is gonna gonna end with an exclamation mark tonight. For the fifth time, we are in Los Angeles. What, what Dominic Cruz brings to the table is a, about as high a fight IQ as is humanly possible. This man Discussed a decade old, but it builds and builds. As long as Uriah Faber has been fighting and competing, he has never lost his lust for competition. The first ever UFC bantamweight champion who earned his first title defense in his UFC debut. Cruz is 31, Faber is 37, Cruz is two inches taller, Cruz will have a slight reach advantage. The California Kid, Uriah Faber! Dominic, the Dominator, Cruz! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can trust gloves now if you wish. But apparently there's a pre-existing injury. Right away to the ground. Uriah's pants are falling down. I don't know if Herb Dean has recognized it, but you're... Is that what's going on? Yeah, I think so. You nullify the great footwork when you do this. Oh, but look at the scramble. Dominic on top in the scramble. Here in the fabulous form, built in 1967. Uriah just went mad dog on him, she charged at him. Faber throwing a lot more feints than usual. There's a good jab by Dominic. Uriah, one head movement. Got caught on that last one. He caught him with that left hook. Yeah. How does one prepare for a guy who moves? Oh! Big left hand! Cruz wrapped him, can he finish him? Wow, he just barely missed that head kick. Again. Tagged him again. It wasn't that his progress had stopped. It was just a different path. Oh, he's tagged Uriah with a right hand there. Master Tong's kind of trying to wave to Faber. Come forward, come forward. You got to dictate. And he gets hit again. Combination by Cruz. 477 days between Mitsugaki and Dillashaw. Oh, he hurt him. And again, he hurts him. Looking for the finish right here. Cruz looking for a finish here. Kick. A little Superman punch. And, and it's Cruz with a takedown. Nice. Beautiful step over into side control. This was a clinic on unorthodox movement, unpredictable attacks, footwork. 
And there's another left hand that hurt Faber, had him in trouble, and this is where Dominic really unloaded. Dominic, the Dominator, Cruz. Yeah, he stayed tough, but I'm not surprised. Uh, he's been a champion before, and with that, with being a champion comes toughness. Everybody in this octagon is tough, so I'm ready for five rounds every time. You have to believe in yourself. No matter what anybody said, I just stuck with it and had my coaches and my team behind me, and that's all I needed and got to. Backstage at 199, we don't have a lot of time, but he is still your UFC Bantamweight champion. Dominic, smiling, you should be very happy about that performance. Talk to me about finally closing the chapter on this trilogy with your eye of favor. You know, I feel like I'm still in the trenches. When you have the belt, there's always another one screaming, calling you out, angry at you for winning. What do you see going on in Bantamweight, and who do you foresee you facing next? I have no idea. Um, Line them up. Uh, when you get to the top three of the division, top five of the division, you can drop guys several times and they're never really out of the fight. Sometimes they get more dangerous. So you got to be careful how much you push and, and where you're at. And um, I would have liked to get him out of there. That's the only thing. But I got as close as I could and I did the best I could at that. Uriah mentioned Cody Garbrandt. You obviously watch everyone in the division and a lot of fighters. Is that someone you're looking at already? I know he just had his first major test. But I think that that's somebody that Faber manages and collects a percentage off of when he fights, so that would make sense for him to mention him. But I saw him, and he, I just thought he was one of the new kids on the block. I don't, I don't know who he is. Cody Garbrandt's the champ, man. He's a stud. It has nothing to do with anything other than that. Nothing like you making a percentage off of when he gets good fights? No, nothing. Trust me, I make my own money. Yeah, off them, off your teammates, and then they ride your coattails. The Feels list good goes to share on. the love, right? Yeah, it does, but the list goes on. I mean, I can do the same thing, except I don't collect a percentage when I promote these guys. They guys, make their guys, own money. Guys, come on, please. Wait, it's over. It's time you can, who's talking? Inside of my who's life. Who's talking, Bisping? <laughs> <laughs> it fires me up, and I think the division's fired up for me coming back after a four-year layoff, winning the belt, defending the belt, and being here again. So the target's on my back. I can feel it. I love it. I bask in it. Bring it. You know, you're nervous going into all these fights. That's that's your body telling you uh, it's a good thing, you know. Thank yourself for that stuff, and you move forward and believe in your instincts and have faith. And, you know, my higher power is God, and he gave me power through this time all these years. Our team is funded by our fighters. We have coaching staff, and it's a losing venture. If you want to take over, I'll, I'll hand it over gladly. <laughs> it is a losing venture for you guys against me.